Hello, and welcome to video one of the Salesforce IQ Migration Tool video series. In this series, we're going to go over how to migrate your data from Salesforce IQ to Sales Cloud using the Salesforce IQ Migration Tool. Some housekeeping items first. This video series is designed for customers who are migrating over to Sales Cloud from Salesforce IQ. It is assumed that you, the customer, are already familiar with Sales Cloud terminology. If I refer to an object or a record type, it is assumed that you know what these are. Please go to the Help Center to learn more about this if needed. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with a high-level overview of what this tool does. This is a one-time migration. This tool takes a snapshot of your data in Salesforce IQ and migrates it over to Sales Cloud. Any changes you make in Salesforce IQ after the migration will not be reflected in Sales Cloud. This tool is designed to migrate two of your lists to standard Salesforce objects. This is done by mapping the two lists to the leads and the opportunity object. All other lists will migrate over to Sales Cloud as custom objects. This tool also works best if there's no customization or pre-work done in your Sales Cloud instance. This is because the migration tool is designed to do all the customization for you. For example, as the tool creates custom fields, if those fields already exist in Sales Cloud, this can cause the migration tool to fail. So it is highly recommended that you migrate into a blank org. Next, I want to take a minute to remind everyone where your data lives in Salesforce IQ. You're probably very familiar with our lists where the majority of your data most likely lives. There is data that also lives in the contact and account profile pages. Any manually logged events or email communications live in the stream. And lastly, we have the contact and account galleries as well. So what data actually migrates over using the Salesforce IQ migration tool? Let's talk about list data first. All standard fields will migrate over to Sales Cloud. Sales Cloud does not support intelligence fields at this time. The only intelligence fields that will be brought over are the fields that are only updated once. For example, author of first communication. You can only have one first communication, and because this is not updated any further, this is brought over. Other intelligence fields that are updated daily, such as days and current status or inactive days, are not supported by Sales Cloud at this time. All information on the contact and account profile pages will be migrated over. Manually logged events in the stream will have to be brought over with a data loader at another time after the migration. This will be covered in a later video. No data from the account or contact gallery, which is not already on a list, will be brought over. Now let's talk about where all this data will land in Sales Cloud after the migration. All list data on your opportunities list, and when I say list data, I'm talking about the data that lives on the list contained within your fields, will be brought over to the opportunity object. All list information on the leads list will migrate over to the leads object. All information on the account properties will go to the account object, and all information on your contact properties will go to the contact object. Let's take a moment to see how this is going to look in Sales Cloud. But first, as you can see in Salesforce IQ, all of my opportunities live on this list, and all of my opportunity information lives on each of these line items. Now moving over to Sales Cloud, looking at Avocado Incorporated, you can see all of my related records being the contact and the opportunity record. If I click into the account properties for Avocado Incorporated in Salesforce IQ, Let's take a look at what information I have here. As you can see, the only account property I have is their address. When I click back into Sales Cloud, you can see that here is that billing address on the account object in the details section. You'll see the same thing for contact information in the contact profile in Salesforce IQ. And again, going back to my opportunities in Salesforce IQ, you can see my opportunity information on this line item. Now back in Salesforce, when I click into my opportunity record, you can see all of my statuses up top and below is all of my opportunity information from Salesforce IQ.